Now, in this video, we are going to take up one more problem on uh, projections of laminars. How to solve this problem by using the SolidJet software. The front view of a rectangular lamina of sides 30 mm by 20 mm is a square of 20 mm side. Draw the projections and determine the inclination of the surface of the lamina with HP and VP. So, to do that, first we will go for the SolidJet screen. This is the default screen of the SolidJet wherein you have a background sheet as A2. Now I need to change this background sheet to A4. So to do that, go to uh, left, left corner and you can see that sheet 1 is enabled. You just go to that and click on right button of the mouse and then again cl uh, click on sheet setup. Then you have a background sheet as A2. I will make it A4. Then you show road background. Don't show any background and say OK. So this is how you will, now the one should do that, the sheet setup has been completed wherein the sheet has been set for A4 but the display is still set for A2. So you just fit it to make this uh, fit for A4 size. Then you come down to sketching, oh, sorry, come down to home, click on text. So here take the text as 4 and then go to sphere. Uh, so, uh, font name as times new roman and click wherever you want and then start typing the text. The front view of a rectangular lamina, the front view of a rectangular lamina of size 30 mm by 20 mm of size 30 mm by 20 mm is a square of is a square of 20 mm. Draw the projections, draw the projections and uh, projections and determine the inclination, inclination of the surface, of the surface of the lamina with HP and V. Right click, then go to sketching, click on move, disable copy, you select this and place it wherever you want. Now before actually starting with the drawing, first you make sure, go to IntelliSketch, enable the endpoint, intersection and horizontal vertical and all other options you make it disabled. <coughs> now I want to have a rectangular lamina of, so first I will take it near to the screen. I will take front view of a rectangular lamina of side 30 mm by 20 mm which is square of 20 mm side. Just go to line command, come down to this, make it 0 0.5, 0 0.05, enter. Now we will take, a, go to horizontal or vertical and you take this. So here, uh, sorry, you take offset, what is the offset distance 30 mm here? You take 30 mm, select this line and offset it. Then from this side you take 20, select this side and offset it. Then go to trim corner between these two and also between these two. Okay. Now we are going to draw, uh, you take select, select this entire drawing and make it 0.5. Okay. Then you come down to block and make it as a group. Okay. Right click. Now we will draw a line of the length. Okay. okay. Of any length, and then go to off. Then you draw one more line at some distance from the VP. Now you go to line command, draw a line from endpoint. Then similarly draw a line from endpoint. You go to trim, trim these three. Then go to select, I am holding the, yeah, make it point 0.5, ok. Now we want to write the text here. So go to text option, again it is times new roman, you make it font size as 3, ok. And here you type a dash, then you type b dash, then you have c dash, 
then you have d dash, then you take a, then you take d in bracket, similarly b and then c in bracket. Okay, then go to fit, then come down to zoom window, go to move, disable copy, you select a dash, then you select b dash, then you take c dash, then you take d dash, then go to a, then you take d, then you take b, then you take c. Now again I will go to text, here I will type caps lock on, type x, here I will type pp and here I will type hp. Okay, then go to move, take this and place it wherever you want. Okay. Now I will go for a line command, go to line, select some orbit from here, you draw a horizontal line and similarly from here you draw a horizontal line. Then you take a, any line and then from here you draw a vertical line. Oh, any so go to line, take endpoint and draw a horizontal line. Go to trim corner between these two. Okay. Then go to trim, select this and trim it. Now you go to offset, take the offset distance as 20. Select this line and offset it by 20. Go to trim corner between these two. Now I will go for a split, you split this line uh, till here, sorry, you go to split, split this line uh, till here, then you select this line, go to trim, sorry split, split this line till here and then you split this line till here. Then go to select, select this entire drawing and make it 0.5. Now you go to move, go to move, enable copy, take a dash, then you take a p dash, then you take c dash, then you take d dash. Okay. Again go to move, disable copy, you select this and keep it inside like this. Okay. Now, Go to fit, go to zoom window. Now we are going to take this line command, draw a one line from here. Then what is the distance you want? I want to transfer this distance. What is the distance? The distance is 30. Correct. Then go to arc, take center point, take end point of this, take the radius as 30, then this sweep angle as 10 degrees. Okay, and cut it on this line. In projector line and go to trim and trim this line till here. Go to trim, trim this line till here. Then go to line, take end point to this end point. Then you draw a vertical line of any length so that I can extend this line to the boundary. So go to extend to next, select this, and you select. Go to select, remove this. Now we have the front view and top view for the second position. 0.35. Okay. Now, once you do that, now we need to uh, copy the same thing again. I will go for a group. Select this line, this, this, and this. And right click. Then go to move, enable copy. Select this and keep it here. So what I need is, I am rotating like this, so I will say text, uh, since I am rotating like this, so a dash will come here, Sorry, you can take it directly, so you go to move, enable copy, you take a dash and keep it here, then you take b dash, then you take c dash, then you take d dash. 
okay then go to line so here once you do that you go to move enable copy you take a then you take b then you take b then you take c now once you do that now you have to get a line from here end point and draw a horizontal line ad i want to get ad so draw a vertical projector from a to this and draw a vertical projector from d also here then go to trim between these two okay similarly draw a line from this end point and then go to extend to next this line to extend and also this line and then go to trim trim this line till here now you go to split split this line till here then split this line till here then split this line till here and then split this line till here now i want to write the position by holding the shift key you write all these four lines and make it point 5 now i need to name them so to do that i'll go to text here i will type small letter a and then uh, here it is will be b here it is c and here it is d so then go to zoom window go to mo disable copy select this and keep it here then b then c then d okay then go to fit now you draw a uh, zoom window you take a mo take this d dash then it is a dash okay c dash okay now you go to fit and draw a line a vertical line of any length okay then go to intersection point of this take around uh, 100 mm angle is minus 45 then go to line take this end point draw a horizontal line similarly from here also you draw a horizontal line and go to trim trim these two and from here you draw a ad which is that line that line is between these two okay then go to trim corner between these two similarly line draw a vertical projector from here to the front view then bc so from here to here then go to trim corner between these two now you go to line take end point of this to end point of this now you go to split spread this line till here spread this line till here spread this line till here then go to select and you delete this line you delete this line and you delete this line so now you go to select between these two make these two to be of 0.13 okay then you select this line make it 0.5 then go to zoom window then go to text here uh, you keep it uh, caps lock on type x1 and here it is y1 and here it is rpp right profile plane then here you say d double dash then here it is c double dash then you have a double dash in bracket then b double dash in bracket and here you put the caps lock on type y mm -hmm. then go to fit then go to zoom window then you go to move disable copy you select x1 and you keep it here and you take y1 and you keep it here then write profile plane then y then take d double dash then here it is a double dash 
then here it is c double dash and b double dash with the bracket. So this is how you will be able to write the drawing. Now I want to go for the text. So go to DDIM, go to ISO, click on modify, go to general, make it black, all these colors as black. Okay, and come down to units, make this angular up to 0 0.12, go to text and come down to Times New Roman and then font size is 3 then go to lines and coordinates make it point 1 and say OK and say apply then go to fit and come down here now you take the distance between go to this uh, sorry go to distance between uh, this line and this line you are going to get 20 and from here it is 30 then you go to square symbol ok then go to distance between these two which is again square of 20 again distance between these two is a square of 20 now you come down again to this and clear it all ok now we go for angular between this line and this line you will going to get it as 41.81 and similarly between these two you will going to get it as 48.19 ok so here I will go to text so I will type uh, 41.81 degrees by holding the alt key type 0176 21 degrees degrees then uh, here I will take uh, 42 48.19 degrees ok this is the answer so here I will come down to this select on this make it blank ok similarly you select this and you come down and make it as blank so now we need to go for text here you take uh, symbol ok here you type uh, small letter 5 and here it is sorry theta ok so you go to move disable copy you take theta here and then you take 5 so come down to fit ok take the zoom then move 48 1.81 which is theta now so you sorry you copy this theta is 41.81 and then phi is 48.19 So then the sum of these two angles will be answer. So the theta, the complementary angle, so this will going to be the answer. We will type answers. Okay. Uh, come down to the window. Then go to line. Draw a vertical line of any length and the horizontal line of any length ok then go to trim corner between these two then go to move ok then go to move enable copy you will select this move it down by keeping x then go to move Select this. Then move. Select this. And there is Y displacement is here. Okay. Then go to move. Disable copy. Select this and go keep it. Move. Select this. And you keep it here. So this is how you will be able to write the answer. So for this I will go for angle 
okay select between these two you get 45 degrees so here this line will be of uh, 40.13 okay so this is how you will be able to uh, write the answer by using the solid edge software so here the surface inclination is uh, theta is 41.81 and phi is 48.19 the sum of theta plus phi should be always be equal to 90 degrees so this is how you will be able to solve the problem using solid state software thank you